Hello and welcome. I'm Johnny B. And I'm the rest of Kaiser. But together we are Morning for Advance. Incoming! <laughs> Mate. Hey, look at Can this! you stop buying things? Buying please. things. Yes, yes, look. On the interest of full disclosure, nobody sent me a free copy of this box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you actually bought this one? Actually bought it. But if you really do want one, you can actually buy one from us on our website. Oh, shameless, shameless plug. plug. Right, so, this is World War Three Team Yankee, British. Team, Team Yankee, very much a new Star area Force. for the channel. Fact. Star Force, yeah. You might have even already seen our first Team Yankee game. We're definitely going for it quite soon. Ooh. Should we, should we, look, let's show them, like, how densely packed this box is. Go on then, get your bits out, mate. And then, uh, do you want to read out the so, words yeah, while I... your Challenger <sighs> Armoured Squadron, it contains five Challenger tanks. Yeah. And two Chieftain tanks. Mm. Two Warriors with the Milan and tank vehicles. Nice. Uh, two Scimitar or Scorpion light tanks. Ooh, either are. Four Fox Armoured cars. Oh, two LM LMRS rocket launchers. Which stands for what? ML. MLRS. Oh, Multiple Launch Rocket System. Boom. Two Lynx yeah, helicopters. Boom, yeah. And then you get flight stands. Magnets, awesome. Book, stuff, Where things. Where magnets, mate? You get booklet. decal sheets. You get decal sheets. Shall, uh, so while you're unboxing, they know what's in here. We'll get to the sprues in a minute. I'll talk about the paper, shall I? Do your thing, mate. And then as we go through the units, I'll look at the stack cards and you show them the sprues. How does that oh sound, Jay Bizzle? There's a hell of a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. So this is 70 quid UK, I think $100 uh, US, and just an, an unimaginably vast amount of money for in Australian money. That's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Unit, you get your unit cards, we'll look at them in more detail. I get a bit of paper. Have you got one of these, John? This may be a Malaysian packed by John or whatever type bit of card. <laughs> packed by John. I, know, I might have. It's I know, I've not seen one of them before. Possibly somewhere. Decals and Commander Sprue in resin. Oh, I love resin. World War Three Team Yankee rule book. I mean, you've probably seen one of these by now if you bought any of these kits. It's good that they include them though, right? Mate, uh, as you've already said before, you're going to buy a fair few of these box sets. I think if you want to play Team of, Yankee. And you can pass them on to Buddy. Exactly. Prospective exactly. other players. Um, and it's the 2019 print, so it's the current version of the rules. Uh, but you also get in this, which it says, it says on this one, limited edition Death or Glory tokens. That's proper cool. But I, I bought this recently. This came out like sort of February. Limited edition, mate. Yeah, so I thought, I thought this might be for like, you know, the first hundred boxes or something. Yeah. But it was clearly it came out a while ago, so you're still getting these. And these are, these are nice. So this is part of the, the, the normal talk, you know, with the nice... Uh, do you not normally get acrylic you ones? do not normally get these acrylic tokens, no. And these are specific to the formation that is suggesting you're, about, you're making this box. So they're a nice kind of... Um, it's not Velcro, is it? What do you call uh, it? Velvet. Felt. Velvet felt, something velvet like that. Velvet acrylic tokens. Velvet. So, and I think these are... This, Stuff like this is maybe a tenant to buy separate. It's really yeah, nice to include it. That's good. It seems to be still available. Because I bought this direct from Warlord and they still got them. And then you get your little bit of booklet there. So, and then they include these in, in there. So this Stop gives you your here. basic build instructions, including some of the variants. It's worth noting with these, I can't tell you for sure without looking at the kits in much greater detail. But normally they don't give you all of the possible variants you could build. They just give you the variants for which they provide cards. Right. And have done in this in this force. But <clears throat> uh, this uh your formation is coming out at exactly one hundred points. One hundred points. One hundred points, which is kind of the, the fairly standard tournament size game. Well, that's good. So what Oh god I think just before we get onto the sprues, this decal sheet is sweet, mate. You have a look at that. You've got a lot on there. And I'm saying decal sheet, there seems to be a few here. Three. Or four three. Three. Four? Yeah, uh, so obviously it's a two it's a two sheet set. It's got the tank chevrons, oh, yeah. numbers. Oh mate, as well as oh. having the Union flag on there, you've also got Scots ones. Have you got if you got Highland or whatever, or even Lowland, have you got Scots elements in there? It's a nice decal sheet. That's cool. I really like that. And I think 
decals really make these modern vehicles pop because they're otherwise quite bland well, i think all, all of the tanks are, are very similar aren't they <laughs> yeah yeah it's like it's, color, to... it's like it's camouflage for yeah. a reason <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah camouflage doesn't mean you can't see it. it means you can't see it clearly exactly then, yeah. yeah i can't see this clearly which is awesome so you pick a sprue john and i'll talk about i'm the, just going to pick the first one up please tell me i think this is the humble fox let me just check fox armored the car fox that is the first one armored in front of me car number one so you get four of these Fact. have a look on the unit so are you waving the what's it at I'm waving the sprue briefly. So those of you that are, uh, you know, my age and older probably remember these were Territorial Army. Are these units. old then? Are these not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been around. They've been around for quite a while. Fox I don't know whether they're car. still in service, but this is something that's really very British. So to take them as a unit, you get four of them for three points in there. But it's got, I think it's got quite poor skill numbers and stuff. I mean, relatively speaking, because this is only used in reserve formations by this point. Okay. But right. It's, it's a really fast reconnaissance vehicle on a road. <laughs> on a road? Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, packing, it's packing a 30 mil rod and cannon, mate, with an anti-tank power of 10. So it's going to... It's going to do some damage to like medium vehicles or the recon. That's all right. Then. But it's cheap and it's got that scout. It's got that spearhead rule to advance deploy it, and it's still you know at least four shots to take out the unit, right? Like, and it's such a cute little kit, isn't Simple it? Simple fact. And Next. So, so few pieces. So Next four of them in there. Four of them. Boom. Uh, gonna stay on the little tanks. It looks like I've got half of a, of a warrior. Half of a warrior. Here's the other half of the warrior. So the warrior, no, the obviously warrior is, is the British Army sort of nineteen nineties equivalent of the Bradley or the BMP. Yeah, it's our infantry fighting vehicle. But in this particular kit, it's having you build them up as an anti tank section. So this is not containing infantry. This is just using what? them oh, with the ATGM. Right. Yep, yeah, because it's got a Milan. Which has uh, got 21 anti tank power. Oosh. And it's a heat weapon, so it doesn't have the long range penalty. And it's guided, so it doesn't have the other long range penalty. Pair of them at four points. Uh, all I would say on that, it's also got a 30 kit mil chain gun with an anti tank power of 30. It's the same one as on the Fox, I think. Wow. Cool. That's that. Sorry. Get two of those. Winner, winner, yeah, chicken. The, dinner. But the difference in this and the Bradley, though. Is that this Milan at 21, it's not, I think the Toe 2 is a better weapon system. I'm not sure 21 is going to go through. What was that other one then? That, like 23, 24? Yeah, Remember? I think this is struggle with T80. I, I think, think T80 is going to present T80. a lot of problems yeah, for yeah. a lot I'm, of formations. I'm interested to see what happens. See how we go with that. Stick some but of the, the, but the worry, it's in, it's in two parts. Two, yes. two different sprue parts, but it's a nice little kit. Check. Did you build one of these, John? No, I haven't yet, but I have haven't one at home. Check the turret, uh, not the turret, the, the cannon. The cannon on the turret. One of these yeah. is already gone. Yeah, so if you look, you're kind of looking at the sprue, this is quite a weak point. It seems And to this be. box was quite tight. Did you, Was it broken then when you got one home? Funnily enough, yeah. Yeah. Well, the one the one that you gave me, I think, was a repair yeah. job anyways, but it's just yeah. interesting to see that that, that it's gone, seems it's to gone be on a that common... Point. Yeah, exactly the same I think, point. I think it's uh, easily repairable. It's a, it's a clean break. Yeah, but just beware of something that. Something to be mindful of. All right, it's a nice little vehicle. Uh, that one, I think. Next up, 2019. It says here. 2019. What are you looking? MLRS, the bright green mate. one. The big bright green. MLRS. MLRS. Multiple launch rocket. And this has got some mighty beefy rockets on them. Yes, although. Although, although... So this isn't a tank, is it? This is like a... No, this is... This is you not seen like this built up? Food. No. Yeah, so this is used... This is, again, a, a weapon system used throughout NATO. I think it's a joint project. Mm. So, like, Germany, Britain, America, several nations use this. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a tract... It's a tractor. It looks like a tractor with it's a massive it's a tractor box of missiles. With a box of, of, <laughs> of rockets, but guided rockets. So what's the difference between a rocket and a missile, John? Uh, one starts with an R. One starts with an R, yeah. Fact. It's about whether it's guided or not. Okay, so missile, a missile, guided? missile, yeah, but actively. Right. So a rocket is kind of programmed and then fired and then nature takes its course, whereas missiles will be actively guided onto the target. <laughs> Yeah. Are we talking with the wires and the laser designation? Yeah, so those kind of things. Like so that. these don't have that. But there's a lot of computer time goes into working out what to do before the rockets fire. Right. 
but that's the fundamental difference. Slapping the coordinates in. Uh, it looks beasty. What the it is. You can take these in two fours or sixes. You only get a pair of them in this kit. The stats. So it's a salvo template. So, it's a big template, but it's only got an anti tank power of three and a fire power of five. So it's not gonna. It's not gonna trash. Lots At of things. So this is but anti tank power is three. Is enough to go. You've got a chance against most things. Top armor, though. Is that you how it works? Do we reckon? Salvo hits top armor. No, no. All artillery hits top armor. Fact. Yeah. So um, them their rules. But a lot of artillery doesn't have enough firepower to go through the top armor. Is the point? Oh. Yeah. So if you've got an anti-tank power of of two on your artillery and it's got a top armor of one. Boo. You know what I mean? So, um, Boo. yeah, but with an tank power of three, it, it has got a chance to take out the top. It can go through the top armor on the Challenger, for example, is two. So on the roll of a one, you're going to get it. But this isn't for killing tanks. This, this is for is suppressing suppression. vast areas. But also, there's a mine token in here because for an extra point, you can fire a minefield. How does that work? Because it's submunitions, mate. Modern artillery. That it's not one shell, poof, there you go. It's all submunitions. So these break up into a load pops, of bomblets, pops which bury themselves scatters. into the ground. It's really clever stuff, mate. Too clever for me. Tiny, mate. tiny Too little explosives. Yeah. That's insane. Putting a minefield in the middle of a game, like in front of somebody's tanks. Boo! Boo! <laughs> yeah, so that's a thing. I'm looking right? forward to seeing that. That was that one. Next up, and I've got a baggie over there. I don't know if that's. You've got different. a baggie over there. Yeah, it's got stuff in it. Presumably. But I'm going to do. Um, going to do the Challenger. Being so this, you mentioned it's top armor. Yeah, this is the showcase piece of the set, right? Boom. Hopefully, you'll notice that Johnny B's been building one of these in a little video in the corner. Yeah, there. look, look at me go. There he goes, mate. There I he goes. I didn't have instructions, so you can look at me randomly put things having on a go having things. a go so there's five of these in this and this is so this kit is intended to be it's a challenger armored squadron i.e it's a force of challengers with some other units supporting it and this right. is a beastie so the challenger armored squadron you've got the 120 millimeter l11 gun sir which has got an anti-tank power of 22. that's all right that's sounds so quite good. respectable yeah but the other thing about the british tanks is they're really tough. The British tank doctrine is still a little bit... A lot of um, other NATO armies, but also Warsaw Pact armies, they've got a lot more mobility. Mm. British tanks tend to be willing to sacrifice quite a bit of mobility Just sit for, there and... for resilience. Yeah. Oosh. So and the Roma versions of this, and that's like... Um, that's what I've built. That's what you've built, exactly. It's, it's, got, an, it's, be, extra it's armor. got all this extra gubbins. Yeah, it's up armoured. It's cool. 39 points for three of them in a 100-point game. Whoa. But 21 points of armour. I mean, a lot of things just can't penetrate it. Sweet. Almost everything, in fact. Like those tow missiles we looked at. The Milan as well <laughs> has got anti-tank power of 21. At no range, at no point can that go through this tank. I just love the Except on the, the side. Challenge. And although it's got low numbers on the side, it's also got chobham armour, which means it's got side armour of 16. Chubby so armour? Chobham, sir. Chobham. Chobham. It's um, you know, it's it's a composite armor. Okay. Now it's not just rolled steel anymore. There's ceramics and special secret sauce special in there. Special sauce. Can't quite know what it is. Awesome. Can't quite know what it is. Rubber and things. Yeah. All right. So that's the the main bit. And then you get a baggy. Yeah. And you get five of those. So baggy, baggy. This has got the heli schnockers. Heavy schnockers. So what we've seen there. Um, how much of this was new? The MLRS wasn't quite brand new. It came out with the Americans, I think. A lot of it's got 2019 slapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're so. new. They're new. I'm not sure if this the MLRS is brand new to this kit or it's, you know, first time. Um, the Warrior is new. The Fox is new. Mm. The Challenger is new. So they're all new, like, like brand new with this release, which is really nice. Brand so brand here, new. I think this is the stuff that was pre-existing. Oh, boo. I did it the here. wrong way round. You did it the wrong way round. No, 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 because there's still good stuff in here, mate. Let's have a look. Do you get, what are they called? The chip, chip chopters? The ch heli chopters? The heli chopters? Lynxes. The Lynx helicopter. So in here, <laughs> it's <laughs> giving you a card for the Lynx as a transport or as an anti-tank platform. But there's no infantry in here, so you can't actually take it as a transport. So it's 
So big. the Lynx tow, okay, it's got the, yeah, improved tow, 21 anti-tank power. And a pair of them is only six points, mate. Really? Really. For a pair? Really only six points. So it's th th not bad, not bad. Now you get your flight stand, which you presumably you guys have all seen this before. Yeah. But you've got your set of magnets because I've got one, I've actually got one to show you, look, because I only had one of these <laughs> from <laughs> Tanks the Modern Age. Tanks the Modern Age. So I've already got one of these painted up. Um, in terms of building this, it went together fairly well. The rotors you can magnetize, which is nice for storage purposes. Well, there's a reason why you had to do that as well, isn't there? Because the sun snapped it off. No, you had to repair the tail one. rotor. He snapped That's that. That's right. It went flying, didn't it? My son, yeah. If there's a snag with these, is the skis. There are keying points for them. Right. But they're more like dimples. And so what the right angle for the ski, the landing skis to be at. I'm no helicopter buff. So I could never decide like how, how flat or how steep should, what looks yeah. right. And it's Does it very naturally much... bow as well? When you yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so when you, you glued it, you can't, you can't, like, you kind of need to hold it for a while if you're using plastic glue. Mm. And I actually, I'm actually slightly lopsided. But when it's on a flight stand, it's fine. And what about the flight stands? So how do they rate the flight in, stands. in the land of flight stands? I like their flight stands. All right. Yeah, and I like the fact that they give you with their flight stands. You get a pair of those. The flight stands fail into open a bit of sellotape. That they give you a spare stem. Yay! They give you a spare stem, mate. I'm saying that, usually they give you a spare stem, and they give you, hopefully. They are chunky. I'm gonna have to open my pack now. I'm not seeing any magnets in here, mate. Oh, there will be, I'm sure. Yeah, there they, there almost certainly is. I feel that they've fallen out or something. There they are. There they are, little, little, little tiny. So you get eight because you need four for each. Yeah. One for the stand, one for the underside of the helo, one for the top, and one for the underside of the rotors. So with each flight stand, you get the short stem and the long stem. You need to glue them in. And they've even left a little a little dimple for you to put a status token in there as well. Oh, yeah. Um, That's cool. Yeah, I, I like them. I like them. I wish, though, you know, they've obviously been manufactured fairly low spec. So every single one of these I've ever seen does have an air bubble in it. Quite a noticeable I've one got in these flight three stems. in this one. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I just would be better off just spraying them black. I'm still, I'm still haven't made up my mind on that. But that these is a tough call with any flight stand. Yeah, but these are the kind of things that a lot, of, you know, companies that are cheaping out on this stuff, they don't give you this stuff. And not only do they not give you this stuff, when they do, they don't make it available for you to get more. So you like, you have to pay a fortune or replace the vehicle if you've lost the flight stand or something. Here, Options the flight stand is quite well, you know, it's quite a forgiving looking base, isn't it? Mm. It's not just going to shear off. I've not had yeah. one bit break, looks... but you've also got a you Why did stand. you say that? Why yeah, 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 it's a job that's going to be special. Immediately tried to break tried it. to give it a bit of a stress test there. Tried please, to break please it. Please do not say words like yeah. that. Okay, what so. What else are you getting here? That's, that's two those, links. like that. The two links. Yeah, nice looking kit. What's this Fairly easy. Point? And you've got, have you got the little or the big one? I've, got the, I've got the big one. So still with the, the stuff that's been around for a bit longer, we've got, we've got a chief in it. So this is like the predecessor to the Challenger um, as a tank. But it's still, it's not, it's still not cheap. Three of these is 18 points. Because okay. it's still competitive. This has still got 120 millimeter main cannon, which has got 22 anti-tank power. Is that not exactly the same as it's got the same gun. That's interesting. Uh, Brutal laser range finder smoke stabilizer. This is the same cannon. So what you what, what why is it? Well, this has got 17 or 18 armor if you take the still, still brew option, which is the armor package on the turret, the bulge mm, on yeah. it. Whereas the Challenger has got 20 or 21 if you take the okay. Romo package, which you'll see the kind of skirts are different and All it's just a bit more extra bulky. Gubbins. Yeah, extra, extra bits on. Uh, 21 and 18 might not sound like big differences, but this is a game where it's like, there's a lot of things that just aren't going to go through at all. Three more points of armor is going to make you invulnerable to many yeah. weapon systems. And, and, yeah. Any tank can fight the Chieftain. Most not brand new mainline battle tanks and brand new missile systems will not go through. Okay. The front so that is, it's whether you want loads and loads of... <laughs> 
It's not even cheap, is but it? This but, isn't. Know. This isn't. I think as a British player, I think this is the way to go. Chieftain. The chieftain. I really do. Yeah. Because I don't think twenty one is is enough for the extra points you're paying. I might be wrong. When you considering what we've looked at so far, the the armor penetration of a lot of the main battle tanks, full stop, are gonna. Okay, yeah, it's plus D6, I guess, right? Is yeah, that, is defense, that yeah, yeah. Plus your defense, but still, that's... But you're paying 11 points of vehicle for being nearly indestructible, or you're paying 6 points of vehicle for being able to fight anything. That's, that's going to be interesting to see on the table, so I think it's it worth is, having but, a look at both You know, of those. like with a lot of those things, it's just like, where do you, how do you, where do you, where do you push the envelope? How do you play? That's going to be a factor. Yeah, Absolutely. But you know your price per shot. This is nearly double mm. per shot, and it's the same shot. Interesting, Interesting idea. Um, so yeah, built a few of these. It was a nice, simple kit. I mean, I, I, I really like the way Battlefront have gone recently in terms of they're getting better and better. It's just they're just making kits for war gamers. So the just bits that are separate are, allow them to put some detail on. Yeah. But most of the stuff, it's keyed. The tracks and running gear are all moulded in one piece. There's an upper turret piece with lots of nice detail mm. sculpted on it. Sculpted on it. You know, an upper piece for the engine deck. This is one of the 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 kits where I feel they first sort of got it together with this. Although they it's been out for a couple of years. The, By this point, the they've kind of nailed it. There are things like stowage baskets and, and, and a few optional, well they're not really optional, extra bits on here and these are a little bit fiddly. Um, the stowage baskets though and bins that go on the side of this turret are a bit odd. If you look at the still you, from the angle from above, they're at funny angles because they're about the silhouette of the tank I think yeah. and they need to, need to not interfere with that. So they don't necessarily go on, they're not that easy to go on, but they're all right, really liked it. Massive gun, spare machine gun in case you break it, and a solid, a solid piece. I don't think there's anything wrong with this tank, even She's even still against. Still worth yeah. taking. Still well worth taking. Mm. Uh, final yeah. piece of the puzzle, sir, is this tiny little whatever the hell it is. Yeah, so this is part of this uh, generation of... Because the tanks have got so much bigger, the armoured cars and stuff can be really... <laughs> so tiny! So if you think about, um, like, the Puma in, yeah. in World War II, you look at the Puma and you look at a Sherman and they're of a very similar length. They're not Insane. vastly different in, in overall size, but by the time you've reached modern main battle tanks, they're massive it's by comparison. Size comparison. And in many ways, armoured cars have got smaller, or small fighting vehicles, and the scimitar is essentially just a tracked fox. Okay. It's, yep. it's not exactly, but, but it's like, part of a similar the, generation of vehicles. For purposes and every, yeah, yeah. So everything it's, else. It's got really good off-road performance, it's fast, it's easy to conceal. So this is a, is a scout vehicle, not to be confused with like the Bradley, which we talked about in the American has an one. Opportunity to this fight, is yeah. dinky by comparison. Yeah, this thing is barely an inch and a half long. Now you do get both cards, which is nice because you can build the, the the Scorpion or the Scimitar. Um, the Scorpion, I think, is a slightly older version, and I think it's got a seventy-five. Yeah, it's got a seventy-six mil main gun. Right. You know, like a traditional World War II type, it is a cannon. Whereas the Scimitar has got the 30mm Raden, so it's got a chain gun instead. I love, I love me a chain gun. <laughs> Who doesn't love a chain gun? So the question is whether you want, you know, the higher rate of fire and reliability, or do you want a bit of a less pop. shots with a bit more fighting power? Yeah. I think, unfortunately, in the game, in the way the game works, you're probably better off with the Scorpion, which is a bit of a shame because we're clearly upgraded to this. But the way, when you, you write a rule system, yeah. you've got to make decisions about how and where things work. But this has got uh, anti tank power of 14 and this has got anti tank power of 10. It's got one extra shot over this, but this has got a lot more capable firepower of 2 on this versus firepower of 5 on this. I think you can shoot helicopters with it though. Brap, brap. And you've got this rule sneak and peek. Sneak, sneak and, and peek. peek. The team can move 10 inches at tactical speed if not firing the main gun. What? Tank can move te tactical 10 inches. Right. What? Is this in addition to your normal move? No. Because the well, way it's, it's got a tactical here. move of 6. But you can make a tactical move of 10. But not fire your main gun. Ah, 
Right. Well, why? Because it's a biddy little turret. So I think that's like the uh, the overworked thing. Is if this thing makes a tactical oh. move of ten, that's not a bonus. It's just that's a penalty. Oh. Saying there's a lot of gun in this little tank. Right. So, so if you make a full or, ten inch tactical, proper... you're just firing your coaxial machine gun or your or your you know. Does it even have a whole mounted machine gun? I don't think it does. I don't think there's any room nope. in there. Let's have a look on the hull. No, I don't think there's any room on there for a for a Okay. Do these give you that advanced deployment as well? Is that a thing? Do they have do? they have scout and spearhead? Yeah. That's sweet. So the scout is the thing I think that allows you you can't just go to ground unless you shoot. Okay. So you're gonna if you put it in a forest or whatever, it's gonna be concealed, gone to ground, plus two to hit. That's a big deal. Um, whereas I'm not sure that tanks can normally go to ground. I wouldn't have thought that's an option. <laughs> I don't know whether they can. You know, maybe if you dig them in or something, um, they get that. And the spearhead is that they make a forward movement. So yeah, only ten inch okay. tactical speed. So it can't move fast if it wants to fire the main gun. But that, I think that's all right because these are two. Po these are a point of vehicle. Oh wow! One point of vehicle. That's Tinker pretty chips. good. Get your and entire force. So cute. Forward deployed. So mate, in here, I can't think there's something like what have we got? Five, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one vehicles. 70 quid plus a rule book cards tokens i think this is the best value of, of the it was the first one and i think it's the best value one i think it's cracking value and i don't think there's anything in here that you don't want no all viable on no. the old table but i'm not sure you want to mix challengers and chieftains and even if chieftains are a better proposition on the table people who've got british team yankee probably already got a load of chieftains right so they've given you a couple Add them into the others. You can add them into your others. Maybe it lets them make an HQ. And you get these beautiful, but I think if it beautiful was, challenges. You get the challenges, so absolutely. I love so. the silhouette of the challenger. Do you? I yeah. mean, it, it looks powerful. It's so low, it? though. I can imagine, like, yeah. the crew actually yeah. lay down. And they'll just chill They're all laying there. down, and then yeah. they just push buttons and stuff happens. I, I think, I think that's that not, not far off what they do. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Well, All right, go. guys. That's the box. That was our look at it. I'm really pleased with this. I'd be, I'd be, you know, I made this purchase. I'm happy. I've got two of them. Happy days. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, like the video, maybe leave us a comment. Thank you. So these are st if you buy one now, you probably can still expect to get. You know, I thought this would maybe like be for the first. Johnny, be down. Carry on. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see there. Carry on. I'm see. just going to reattach it to the uh, surface. You, just, you guys, you just stay lick there, it, mate. You got to lick it. You guys stay there, all right? Don't move. There you go. Right.